configuring a new process for temperature sensor conversion in the FTS Axiom data logger. Processes are user-definable and configurable software modules that perform computations and other tasks in the data logger. Usually a process uses the values of variables in the data logger's database as part of its computations and places values in the database as a result. The examples shown in this presentation encompass the processes required to convert voltage readings from a thermistor temperature sensor to temperatures in Celsius. This includes two function processes called R-therm and T-therm, and three user variable processes called A, B, and C that hold constant values used in T-therm's computations. Before you configure the first process, called R-Therm, you must configure the SDI-AM sensor for an analog thermistor temperature sensor so that the database variables VREF and VTherm are defined. The required procedure is shown in the training presentation on that topic. This presentation complements FTS application note 700-AN-106. From the home screen, tap Processing. The Processes screen appears. It shows all currently configured processes. In this example, there are none. Tap New Process. The Please Select Process Type screen appears. It contains an icon for each type of process that it is possible to configure on the data logger. Tap Function. The Function Setup screen appears, with default values pre-entered for some fields. Enter a unique name for the function, units and precision for its output value, and the equation for computing its output value. In this example, we use the standard computation for converting voltage readings from the temperature sensor to a resistance, R-therm, that is used to compute the corresponding temperature in a second function to be defined shortly. When complete, tap OK. The Processes screen reappears. It now contains an icon for the recently defined function process. Tap the R-Therm icon. Confirm that the function is computing a reasonable value in the thousands of ohms. Tap back. The process's screen reappears. Next, we will define constant values used in the computation that converts values of R-Therm to temperatures. These constants are called A, B, and C. Tap New Process again. The Please Select Process Type screen reappears. It contains an icon for each type of process it is possible to configure on the data logger. Tap User Var. The User Var Setup screen appears, with default values pre-entered for some fields. Enter a unique name for the variable, units, precision, and the default power-up value. In this example, the name is A, units are left unspecified, precision is 7, and the default value is 1.288 times 10 to the minus 3. The data logger accepts scientific notation for numerical values, but will display them afterwards in plain fixed decimal notation, for example 0 0.001288. This is why the maximum precision, 7, was selected in this example. If an even smaller value were set, say 1.288 times 10 to the minus 10, the value would be stored correctly but would be displayed misleadingly as 0 0.00000000. A future version of the data logger software will display values more flexibly and understandably, including the option of scientific notation. For now, keep in mind that very small values are stored accurately but not displayed accurately. When complete, tap OK. The Processes screen reappears. Repeat the previous steps to define user variables b equal to 2.356 times 10 to the minus 4 and c equal to 9.557 times 10 to the minus 8. Once b and c have been defined, we will have returned to the Processes screen. Next, we will define a process to convert the computed thermistor resistance, R-therm, to temperature in Celsius. Tap New Process. The Please Select Process Type screen appears. Tap Function. The Function Setup screen appears, with default values pre-entered for some fields. 
The function we will define will compute a result using the Steinhardt Hart equation, which relates thermistor temperature and resistance. The computer language formula is presented here as well, since it is not fully visible in the equation text box in the next slide. Enter a unique name for the function, units, and precision for its output value, and the equation for computing its output value. When complete, tap OK. The processes screen reappears. It now contains an icon for the recently defined function process. Tap the T-Therm icon. Confirm that the computed temperature is reasonable. To close, tap Home. 